So um, I want to, uh, just before I start, have everyone in this room who um, feels passionately about patient safety to stand up, if you would, please. All right. Now give yourselves a hand for your passion. All right. And then when you sit back down, could people, there are a few people who are um, just by themselves. Could you move a little bit closer because I'm going to have you talk with each other. So um, it just two people together at least would be good. Thank you. So um, essentials of communication. Uh, you know, communication is certainly a lot about talking, but it's the many other things, as I'm sure you all know. Um, primarily listening. And, uh, of course, we have to speak effectively. We have to create safety in our conversations and when we listen. We need to be self-aware and we have to have empathy for the people that we're interacting with. Um, as infection preventionists, um, it's easy for us to feel passionate about what we do. And as Kathy noticed in her work, it's easy for us to be in a silo just like everyone else is in a silo. And for me, I'm in a silo of one. I'm the only infection preventionist in the organization. For, uh, some of you may. So um, I just a few other perspectives to consider. Organizational leadership is, is responsible for assuring safety. And it is, as an infection preventionist, you're part of organizational leadership. Um, you re represent your organization, and you are, you're the person who's been deemed to try and work on these projects. And 